Hey Mountain Iron with a new video. Uh, for those who were there, yes I do work, it's just I work 12 hour shifts so uh, after I do a few days uh, a few days uh, of 12 hours then I have a lot of days off so uh, so a new video and today we are mountain biking but this time cross country. Uh, so this is my um, mountain bike. Uh, as you can see it looks a little bit odd and no it is not missing any piece. Uh, what it is called, it's called a, a lefty. And basically what it is, it's uh, it's just like one shock instead of two, so uh, technically what it says is that it's a little bit more maneuverable than a two, because you can go a little bit quicker. Um, as well as those tires are a little bit specials, uh, they don't have inner tubes, uh, so they're um, tubeless. Um, so they can have some advantage. Uh, one of the advantages is that a lot of times the inner tubes, um, if you don't put it properly or if it's not, like for example, if there's not enough air in it, um, it can get pinched and then you can get a hole in the middle of your hike, so uh, of your uh, bike ride, uh, versus those ones don't um, uh, because there's no tube in it. Uh, the, uh, so the advantage of those is that sometimes you can, in certain condition, um, you can um, lower the air intake inside the tubes and go with a little bit less air which helps you with the grips and stuff like that. Uh, the problem though is that uh, if you get uh, so if you if you puncture uh, tubes then um, there's different products you can have and I have like the product for tubeless but also you can replace it in the tube in the tube inside if you're out of a pinch and actually even there's some people they said that in a pinch even if you really have to like get back to the car you could fill that out with like grass or roots or like grass and stuff just to keep the shape so that you can at least uh, go back to your car um, so uh, full suspension again uh, compared to my uh, down uh, downhill but the, this is a five inch uh, inch of travels um, so instead of the seven inch that was on the other one and so I have one in the front and this one in the middle. and again same kind of concept of, of, of center um, and, <coughs> sorry um, over here we get clips on as for pedals so clips pedals for those who don't know what it is it's basically a little clip that you put under your shoes and basically your shoes get clipped on the pedals um, and the advantage of it is that when you go for example up a hill or something not only you get power when you push but when you pull up you bring the pedal with you so you kind of get a two movement going on and you get a little bit more powerful it's a little bit tricky I still don't have like 100% uh, the technique but um, when, sh when people become very effective with this, you lose way less energy and you become more uh, proficient in uh, hiking and, uh, and climbing up hills and stuff because now you, because one pedal, right, always kind of go up as the other one goes down. So as you push with the other one, this one you bring up. So you always kind of have like a two movements going on. Um, so yeah, it needs a little bit of coordination and stuff. Um, Obviously the helmet and today I'm trying again the camera and this is just a, a quick quick fix because I couldn't find any uh, straps at home. Uh, I'm gonna give it another try. On the uh, downhill it didn't work very well because I put it more on the side here as you remember from the video. And basically all you were seeing was my uh, front wheel. Basically that's what you would see. Wheel and ground and wheel and ground. So hopefully today you'll see a little bit more of the trail so I'll start kicking that in and hopefully we'll be able to do a montage of that and uh, backpack which I went uh, through it and uh, for survival I went through that package uh, always on me as you can see in the side pocket there and yeah and I got like water and stuff so we'll be going and hopefully i'll be able to do a little montage with uh, some hit and uh, bring the camera with me so um in the middle of a hill or something we'll show you uh around and stuff and 
trying my new uh, my my glasses as well, and um, probably going to put the uh, the straps on. Uh, so I talk about it on uh, one of my video on the hiking, but basically this is what the strap is, and basically what it does is that it replace the the sides over here. So you pull out the sides and clip up the straps. So it's gonna hold a little bit better, especially to see if I take a fall or something like this. So I think I'm gonna try this strap today and see you on the trail. So I just did my first walk of shame and uh, basically that little hill, I don't know if you can see just where my finger is and then you cross the bridge and I'm dropped by a bike here. It's not big but uh, enough that you can have a little bit of trouble. So uh, biking is a, no a lot of know about knowing your trail or reading and, and forward. Uh, so for example, in that little trail there, I could see that this was going to go up. And so basically because I already have speed and I don't need to pedal, I can already decrease my speed so that after I come here and start climbing, so after I climb the wall, the, the bridge, sorry, and start climbing, then it can be easier. Or else what happens is that you lose your momentum and losing your momentum means that uh, basically you'll get up and start walking, which I just did. So, first walk of shame. So as you can see here, a little bit of a root system. Uh, so when you uh, take the roots, when, when there's roots like this, the issue is uh, knowing when to pedal. It looks strange, but there's not a lot of clearance on your bike. And for example, the roots like this, if your pedal are down, you're gonna hit that. And so either you choose a better line. So when we choose a line, so for example, when I choose my line, I went this way, and I came out this way, then in the middle, and I went up a little bit. But you have to choose when your pedal will be down. Most of the time, just as I showed in my uh, um, downhill bike, your pedal has to stay kind of on a, a platform, so straight like this, so that you have more clearance. Versus if you have like pedals like this, as you can see from this finger, I'm lower than this finger, versus a pedal like this. And so what happens is that if I'm like this, and I go on the roof like this, I'm gonna hit that, so. And uh, not so bad here, because I mean, it's not a very technical, climb but uh, if you're about to climb and you have your momentum and this can make the difference between you making up the hop of the, teal, the, hop of the hill or stopping then uh, it does matter so yeah so when you get into systems like this so you have rocks and stuff yours anticipate so when you pass so when you drive you don't look here you look there you always look ahead you look where you want to go, not where you want to go. So if I don't want to go there, I don't look there. Because basically what you happen is that you uh, put your body. So if I want to go there, I'm going to look here. So that my body is positioned this way. If I look here, like now, like I know you can here. I'll show you a little bit. But So I'm looking right here. Okay. Look where my shoulders are. They're straight there. I'm now going to look at this, look where my shoulders are facing. So it's rare that you're going to be like this, looking there and your shoulder be like this. So always bring your head where you want to go, not where you don't want to go. So if there's a big rock or something that you don't want to go, don't look at it. Look where you want to go. So.